Hello friends, I am Shridhar Soni and I am here with a new video. Yeah, I was on long break but I am here with a bang. So today we learn the integrating of calendar library in Codeignator. So first of all, what is Codeignator? Codeignator is a PHP MVC framework. MVC stands for Model View Controller. We write queries related and database related logic in model. <coughs> in view, we display to uh, we display our data to the user and controller is doing uh, working like a inter intermediate line between the model and view. So um, why I choose Codeignator? Codeignator is a very lightweight framework and easy to use and it also provides the calendar library by default. You just need to include that library and you can use that uh, as simple as possible. So let's start. So first of all download the Codeignator from the Codeignator website. So codeignator.com.download. So you, uh, here uh, it is available 3.x version is available. So older version is 2.x. So you can download the Codeignator 3 or you can also clone the Codeignator version from the GitHub also. So after all you download just put it on in your uh, XAMPP folder and uh, if you are using the Ubuntu then you can put in a uh, where HTML folder right and uh, <coughs> run the Codeignator. So once you extract the folder and run the folder into the browser, uh, just go to the browser and hit the URL. So I, I, I made the folder name CI3. So whenever I go to the my browser and fire this URL, you can see the welcome coordinator view is here. So the basic setup for the coordinator is done from our side. So let's move to the how to include the calendar library in our coordinator. So now go to the application slash config slash autoload.php. I'm using the sublime editor. So just press the control P and autoload.php. Here we need to add the libraries for the database. The, here is you get the blank array so you have to put database in the array now same you have to add helper of url so we can use the access the urls in codeignator so this is done in autoload.php now go to the config folder and open the config.php file i'm same control p config.php you can see the application config folder and config.php so you have to set base URL blank and index.paints as a blank. Now go to the database file because in this database you have to make the configuration about your database. So database.php here this is my host name username root if uh, I, I didn't set any password for the my local host so I add as a blank. The database name CI3 and DB drive is MySQLi because I'm using PHP my PHP my and MySQL driver. So that's it. Now we need to make a controller. So I made the one controller name mycal.php in the application and slash controllers folder. So once I get the controller, so I made index dot index function here if you hit the url like my calendar so it will automatically call index.php so you get the string.php right so that's good now we need to load the calendar library using this syntax you can load the calendar library and echo this and we are generate the calendar so let's run this i'm comment out this code and let's run this oh so the calendar library is here and uh, we can see the full calendar view so today i'm making this video on 16th of march so 16th is march is in bold right so we set the calendar in our controller now 
if you want to change the preference then make one array and pass it to the load library function so we are setting preferences like i want to start day from the saturday not the monday if i want to month type as a long my like january february march april so i can set the month type as a long day type like tuesday wednesday i just want mon for the monday so i can say it uh, set the data day type as a short and pass this preference array to the load library function right so the so this code generate the calendar for the current month or year based on your server time to show a calendar for a specific month or year you will pass this information to the calendar and generating the function right so let's check the demo again committing this code so here you can see so if we are checking this so the 2019 4th april previous february and so on so we are ready for the from the basic now we are using the mvc so let's make a model and put our logic in the model right so let's make my calendar underscore model dot php file into the application models folder right so let's make it go to the folder and that preferences i put here these preferences just i cut and put in model dot php so it is understood right now we we need to show if i had a event uh, i have an event for today so i have to display the event name and event description on the today's day right so so how calendar library takes the data so here this is the date this is the event description or you can say event name so on 3rd of march of 2019 i have check event on 7th of march 2019 i have check one event on 26th of march i have ytr event right so just put this kind of data array into the this calendar generate function you have to pass year or month like i have passed the 2019 and third month so i will get all the datas according to this so third so let's check it out using the demo so this something went wrong i'm passing the data and Okay. I just comment out this code, so it is not working. Yeah.
so you can see on 3rd of March I have check event on 7th of March I have check one event on 26th of March I have YTR event so it is working but this is the static array so we if we, we need to make as a dynamic array or we need to fetch this uh, data from the database so what we can do so we can make just one function and retrieve the data from the database so if I checking keep my Canada is look like something add uh, having CSS and all so how can we generate template like this so let's start with this so for that I have moved made cal.php here I just include the calendar variable that's it now we need to create calendar template so there are lots of calendar templates available on Google if you are going to the coding .com, then they also provide the basic calendar template so just go to the link and you can just copy this as a copy this and set in the preference array we have just made like this so we have already made this for the start date month type and day type so we if we want to add the template we just copy this whole code and put it in our model if you want to apply the some CSS you can also include the CSS file or you can also put in your view file as well so css will be applied and your calendar will look like this okay so this is it so now if we want to import our data from the database then i have made one small database and uh, one table let's go through it i have made one calendar table uh, one database here it can table name is calendar so structure is very simple the date the event date the content event content or status the, uh, if event is expired then we can set it to be zero or one right so i have inserted some fews or few data here like randomly data so just go to the our model and call this function we have previously we add the static array now we want to get the data from the database so we call this function get calendar data and we are passing year of month which year of month data so we are passing and we are select from the calendar table where date like year or month so we are just for the whatever we result get we just looping them and return to the data and we are just passing this data to the calendar generate function so I am look so I am getting this kind of array because I am put event on 17 March like leaving date if I add new insert date is suppose 20th of March yeah status is 1 if I set April 10th of April and this date so you can see the on 20th March so I'm getting this event on 20th March I am also adding the event on the 10th of April so on the 10th of April looking for Laravel event is there so this is it if you want to check this code on github then you can go to the my repository this is just that link and also you can uh, get this URL 
uh, in the comment section so if you like this video then share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you